Over the past couple of videos that I've done, this diagram has generated quite a lot of interest. And I've said in both of those that uh, one like this bit down here of Microsoft Fabric for me is the most interesting component. So let's dive into one like and what's going on there. For those of you just catching up, Microsoft Fabric is the new kind of like big data platform object that Microsoft are trying to roll out. Go back to my other couple of videos and, and see what I think of that. But for now, let's get into this. There are enough moving parts that I, I actually have notes. So if you go to Microsoft's website and you ask them, what is OneLake? You get the answer, OneLake is OneDrive for data, which for me isn't very helpful, except in the way that well, if you don't maintain it properly, it'll just become a nightmare. That's my experience with OneDrive. It might be your experience with OneLake, but let's get into the actual structure, okay? OneLake is a data lake house, which is a silly way of saying that it's trying to take all of the things from a data warehouse and all of the things from a data lake and jam them together so that you have data you can use reliably. So the idea behind a data warehouse is that you take data from multiple sources and you structure it in such a way that you can query one thing and get one answer for your business. The idea behind a data lake is that you can just take whatever streams of data you have and pour them into your storage unit and deal with structure and problems and issues later. It was developed for things like click streams and telemetry and stuff like that, where you just like on the fly, just pour the data in and we'll figure it out later. In a data lake house, what we're trying to do is get the best of both of those worlds. One lake is made from Delta Parquet files. Our friend on this channel, the Parquet file, is back. And it's all built on top of ADLS Gen 2. Okay, so you've got this cloud storage. If you don't know what I mean by ADLS Gen 2, okay, it's just, think of, it's just some hard drives in the cloud. Doesn't matter. So we have this actual storage layer, which is the hard drives here. And then on top of this, we have Parquet files. And those represent the data that is coming in. So we've got all of these Parquet files that just sit here like that. If you want to know what a Parquet file is, I've got a pinned video on this channel as to what a Parquet file is. It was unreasonably successful and kicked off this whole shenanigan here. But what makes this a lake house, referring to my notes, is that on top of each of the Parquet files, we have a Delta file. And that Delta file is just some JSON. It's just some tracking JSON that tells us how this Parquet file has been changed over time. 